Good afternoon. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I'm here at 4064 Sunny Slope Avenue in Sherman Oaks, and I'm preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line for Terry Markwell. The main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I wasn't able to locate um, the exposed or accessible main sewer line cleanout uh, for the uh, primary line here, or we've essentially got two branches coming off the back of the building. Uh, there is a clean-out in the one basement area on a pipe that's exiting through the back foundation wall. That clean out's frozen on there pretty good and uh, would not provide us access to the entire line. So what I've done is I've brought my equipment onto the roof. I'm going to be dropping down through this four-inch main waste vent. And this is going to drop us into the pipes under the house and then through the uh, main drain line then outside the structure. And uh, essentially what we're going to do here, I'm going to turn the camera around and point down to the backyard a little bit. Basically going to run out the back. Kind of along, along the back side of the pool here. And you can just make out that yellow mark in the grass down there. That's about where these two lines intersect. Coming off the back and then they're running right to a public sewer that's underneath the hedges here along the back of the property. Go ahead and drop the camera down. We'll get down into the horizontal pipe here. And we'll push through as much as we can. And go through about 15 feet of pipe and we're gonna then we'll exit the structure. And what we're looking at here, both under the house and underground outside the building, is uh, an original cast iron piping. Now these cast iron pipe materials typically were expected to last in the uh, 70, 70 to 80 year range in some cases. All right, we're outside the building now. And what we're seeing in this cast iron pipe is uh, heavy rust and scale buildup. You see this groove being created here along the bottom of the pipe. This is evidence the pipe is beginning to fail and getting ready to fail. Looks like there might be a little bit of soil intrusion and perhaps some the starting of some roots coming in here. You see the fingerling roots in a few areas. That tells us this pipe is starting to fail and I would recommend that it be upgraded. That's a good shot of that groove along the bottom of the pipe. Take a photograph of that. Now here we're going to make a uh, drop vertically, a very steep turn, a sharp angle fitting to make this drop, which is okay in this situation, but you see it's very hard to get the camera around. And then as we get to the bottom of this drop, we're dropping into another very steep or sharp bend. And we'll be able to get the camera around this. So that's as far as I can push the camera. You look out down the head, you can just make out a clay pipe, and that's dropping right down into the public sewer. So essentially that's all we're going to be able to look at today, but it does give us the overall picture of what's happening with the drain systems here. We have old original cast iron piping that's nearing the end of its useful service life, and I would recommend it for replacement. Now, uh, See if we can get a better look at where these two lines intersect. Unfortunately, we're in this vertical drop, so it's very hard to see. But basically, we drop right in.
you can just make out that intersection up the top left. You can see that water trickling down. There's actually water running in one of the toilets, and that's coming through that other pipe. So we basically run out to about three feet deep here, drop down to about eight feet deep, and then connect over to the public sewer. So I'll write all that up, and uh, if need be, we'll discuss marking out the pipes so that uh, we know where they are. Uh, any permanent marker in this case wouldn't probably last whether we used paint or flags, but uh, at least know the depth and the general directional path for the written report. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video portion of the examination for today. Please do refer to that written report for the description of the final findings and recommendations. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day.